Shanghai Summit Edition, the delegation of Kansas City visited and offered Christmas and New Year 2024 greetings at a peaceful city of Kansas Diocese. The dialogue between the authority and businesses in the city to listen to opinions to remove obstacles encountered by businesses. Hello and very warm welcome to another edition of Kansas News and Top News today. On December 23rd morning in Kansas City, Politburo members stand and vice chairman of the National Assembly Trung Thanh Mung and the delegation of leaders of Kansas City visited and offered Christmas and New Year 2024 wishes at Episcopal See of Kansas Diocese. On behalf of leaders of the party and state, state and vice chairman of the National Assembly Trung Thanh Mung summarized the social economic situation of the country in 2023, especially congratulated the outstanding results gained after 20 years of becoming century and Kansas City, emphasizing that the achievements gained over the past time fell on head the positive contributions of the Catholic and Protestant dignitaries and followers of Kansas City. Stand by German Trang Thanh Mung wished the Archbishop, Bishops and priests to continue guiding Catholic followers to well abide by the parties, guidelines and policies, the state's laws, and actively participate in patriotic emulation movements in the Catholic and the whole country, actively build the relationship between Vietnam and the Vatican, contributing to building a developed, rich and civilized Vietnam. On December 22nd afternoon, Chairman of Kansas City People's Committee Trung Vik Trung presided over a dialogue between the authority and businesses in the city. This is the second dialogue held by the City People's Committee, intending to exchange listen to opinions to remove obstacles encountered by businesses. Representatives of enterprises mentioned issues that need support to solve difficulties in production and business activities, including the reduction of land rent, assisting in resolving problems in tax funding procedures, requests for extension of social insurance debts, reduction of the frequency of inspections so that enterprises can focus on operations. Some issues with incompetence are answered directly by departments, branches and localities at the dialogue. Other issues are recorded and answered in writing. Chairman Chung Vi Chung asked leaders, managers and civil servants to raise a sense of responsibility, promptly listen to and support enterprises, Accompany businesses to overcome difficulties and challenges, advise on mechanisms and policies to attract investment, to strongly develop the industrial section by the newly approved planning. At New Green Farm Cooperative in Tang Hung Wo, Thupnop District, the Department of Agriculture and Rural Development, in collaboration with the International Rice Research Institute, or IRI for short, and the School of Agriculture, organized the first workshop entitled Model of Growing Straw Mushrooms Indoors and Outdoors. Straw after being processed in soaking tanks and composting, Every day, the fungal tissues are watered one to two times. In the process of caring for fungal tissue, it is necessary to monitor the temperature and humidity, two important factors determining the yield of mushrooms. Resultantly, with 320 meters of straw mushroom cultivation, the indoor growing model at the cooperative gives a profit of more than 8.6 million Vietnamese stone, 6.2 million Vietnamese stone higher than outdoor growing. The replication of these models not only helps improve economic efficiency for people, but also promotes the use of rice straw in the direction of circular agriculture, contributing to reducing greenhouse gas emissions and protecting the environment. On the afternoon of December 22nd, the Customs Department of Kansas City organized the conference to review the performance of tasks in 2023 and outline tasks for 2024. Stand by Chairman of Kansas City People's Committee, Yung Tung Hing, came for attendance. In 2023, 343 enterprises are carrying out costume clearance, an increase of 19 units over the same period last year. 
total revenue paid to the state budget is more than 205,061 billion Vietnamese dong, reaching 100.44% of the target assigned by the Ministry of Finance. The department also detected and handled 193 cases of administrative violations on costumes, dealt five cases over the same period last year fined more than 8 billion Vietnamese dome and detected 18 cases of smuggling, administrative reform, costume modernization, digital transformation, and information technology application were implemented in a timely manner. Standing Vice Chairman Yun Deng Hing highly appreciated the efforts of the Gunther City Costume Department, asking the unit to focus on administrative reform, modernizing costume management, build a digital costume system, and avoid budget revenue loss. Gunther City Steering Committee for Tourism Development on December 23rd morning held a conference to reveal tourism activities in 2023 and map out orientations and tasks for 2024. According to the Steering Committee for Tourism Development of Kansas City in 2023, the city's tourism industry welcomed over 5.98 million visitors, up 117% over the same period, reaching 115% of the year plan. Accommodation businesses served more than 91 million visitors, up 125% over the same period. Total revenue from tourism reached over 5,420 billion Vietnam dong, up 132% over the same period, reaching 118% of the year plan. According to the plan for 2024, Cantor tries to welcome more than 6.1 million visitors, of which 3.1 million guests stay. Total revenue from tourism bridges more than 6,000 million Vietnam dong. The conference discussed contents and plans to promote tourism associated with the organization of events and festivals, creating a highlight to attract tourists to the city in 2024. Ladies and gentlemen, creating a product out of food like this is extremely exciting. In today's report, Cook V would like to introduce to you Miss Lady Hong Hoa, with more than 40 years of knitting skills, who will guide you how to knit wool to create products for those who love woolen utensils but have not had the opportunity to experience this job. Hello, Miss Hoa. Today, which products will you guide me as well as the audience to make? I will instruct you how to make a simple product as a mobile phone bag. To make a phone bag, what tools do we need to prepare? We need yarns and scissors. First, my left hand wraps the yarn, my right hand holds the knitting needles. We need the yarns in the plates, then into the V-shaped stitches. For every 15 V-shaped stitch, there are 30 plates. I also use the right grand stitch for budding. I am knitting the V-shaped stitch now. Miss Hoa has finished these two pieces with lace and V-shaped stitches. Once the two pieces have been finished, I buy them by the rice grain stitch. I'm very interested in looking at making this product. Can you give me a try? Okay. When I'm going to hold it like this. The left hand wraps the yarn. The right hand holds the knit and needle. This is the blade, isn't it? Now you can buy these two pieces. The yarn is up like this. Then pull it up and out it through. Mm. Has it been the rice grain stitch? You put the knitting needle around. Around this point, is that right? 
We are going to use a needle to connect the zipper. We also use yarn to tie the zipper, right? That's right, we also use the yarn. Here we have finished a phone bag product. We can make a strap to put the bag around the shoulder. After a period of instruction conducted by Miss Lady Hồng Hoa, we have completed a very lovely phone bag like this. Over time, if you know how to conduct complicated knitting stitches, you can make good products for friends and family members. It also helps you relax during the weekend. Thank Miss Hoa for helping V make this lovely phone bag. Thank you for your interest. Deep day did good forecast. Long so wrap up this edition of Continuous. If you want to watch again in this bulletin, please visit our website, consultv.bn. And all thanks for being with us. Goodbye and see you next time.